today I'm talking about seven things you can do to reduce waste, about what you can do as an individual to reduce your waste. Waste is a problem because it impacts our environment, it impacts our lives individually, it uses a lot of energy and resources, and it affects our climate. There's a lot that goes into these landfills that the earth cannot assimilate, cannot do anything about. Earth can't use these things. So we're creating ugly landfills and uh, there's a lot of burden that goes into keeping these landfills healthy and keeping the the communities and the people that are around them and the animals that are around them healthy and not poorly affected by their chemical waste and the sludge that comes out of them. There's just really nothing healthy about these landfills. So the, the more that we can refrain from creating more trash for the world, the better. Seven things you can do to reduce trash in your life. And of course, if you can do all seven, fantastic. But even if you can just do one or two or three, that's great too. Number one, composting. Composting is the best. We do a vermicompost, so a worm compost, but we're familiar with other sorts of composting methods. I am so excited to see composting being done on university campuses and other public places, businesses. When I see a place where I can compost or throw away trash, I am a happy girl. 25 to 50 percent of the things that we throw out on a daily basis, they are organic material. So we could be putting that back into the soil and creating a really healthy environment around us. We could be using it on plants and lawns and in gardens. Composting is awesome. I have some links below that talk a little bit more about how to get started with composting, some information about it. And I can say that when my husband and I started composting, we literally could hardly fill up one bag of trash per week. We, we really weren't making trash, especially when you do worm composting you're throwing all your organic materials into the worm buckets, but then you're putting shredded paper on top of it. So we weren't even throwing away mail or old papers or anything. So that's just one of those areas where you can reduce your trash a ton by composting. Number two, reusable bags. This is super self-explanatory. Buy them, they're at your co-ops, they're at your grocery stores. You can get nice canvas ones that are super strong. I also love the bags at TJ Maxx. They're 99 cents and they're right in front and they're huge. They're enormous bags. I use them for groceries all the time and I use them to travel. I'm spending the night somewhere, or going to the beach, or moving. They are the best bags. They are super strong and they have these cute little designs on them. I love the TJ Maxx reusable bags. Number three are reusable water bottles and other containers, just containers in general. Like if you make a sandwich for lunch, instead of putting in a baggie, put it in a container, a glass container that you can take and then bring home and wash. Always bring your water bottle. I bring my water bottle everywhere. This is my water bottle. I've loved it. It's so great to me. It's like an old Eddie Bauer water bottle. Anyway, so just try to get a healthy water bottle that you can wash and reuse. Number four, buy in bulk. It kind of goes with this reusable container mentality, but if you're buying in bulk, you're spending less money overall. You're saving money in the long run, and you're also able to store things in the containers you have. So if you don't like buying in bulk because you don't want food to go bad, um, obviously there are some foods that are gonna go bad, so don't buy those in bulk if you have problems eating veggies or fruits within a certain amount of time. But if you can, buy other things in bulk and just keep them in your glass container. Number five is for my ladies. Well, I talked about this in a previous YouTube video. Stop using tampons and pads. I understand pads to a certain extent, but please stop using tampons. We put so much trash into our waste baskets, it's ridiculous. So if you can make the switch to a Diva Cup, or I think they make these panties that are for periods, I'm really not sure. Long story short, try to not make so much trash during your menstrual cycle. So if you can use something, uh, any sort of menstrual cup, that's fantastic and way better for your body and for the earth. Number six, reusable diapers. I know, I'm not a mom, so I have literally no say in this. You can schluff this off if you want to, you're allowed to, but I read something recently that talked about how many diapers end up in landfills. Nobody reuses that. Diapers do not get recycled in any way. So if you can get cloth diapers, you are doing something awesome for the environment. You're also doing something pretty great for your kid, too. Cloth diapers are a thing and they are apparently pretty great. I can't speak from experience, so all I'm gonna do is throw that out there and put some information below if you wanna check that out. You are more than welcome. Or if you have used cloth diapers and you have anything to say about that, please also put that in the notes. And number seven, get chickens. Yes, 
you, wherever you are, in the city, well, I think chickens, there are some cities that allow chickens, in the suburbs, in the country, for sure, get some chickens. Chickens are awesome, kind of like in the composting mentality. You can give them your food scraps. Give them your food scraps, they take care of your lawn for you, they take care of your garden and all these areas for you. Chickens are awesome and they're super cute and super fun to hold, so why not get chickens and reduce your trash at the same time. Those are my seven ways to reduce trash. Composting, reusable bags, reusable water bottles, containers, buy in bulk, use your reusable containers when you buy in bulk, stop using tampons and pads, try to use something that's not so problematic, and to use reusable diapers, use cloth diapers. Finally, get chickens, woohoo! And I promise you, if you um, start doing any of these, if you make any of these small changes in your life, you are going to start finding out that you don't fill up a trash bag as often and your, your small influence on that part of the system is going to make a really big influence collectively on the planet and on our lives. That's all I have for you today. I hope that you found some practical tips and if you have any questions, if you have any comments, leave a comment below and please subscribe to my channel for more ways to increase the abundance in your life, whether that's in the environment you live in or in your life physically or in your relationships or your spiritual walk with God, any of those types of things.